welcome guys. So uh, this is another complex uh, analysis video. And uh, we already done a lot of contour integral. So maybe this is the final uh, sum, uh, sum of it. Hmm. And this one is interesting because uh, uh, it's not easy to guess how to define f of z, right? So yeah, so let's start. I uh, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So, so let's define the, the difficult part is that uh, you need to uh, find a suitable f of z and uh, pick up the suitable contour uh, so that you can e uh, extract some uh, results. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, so everybody remember this. Okay, so let's. So our integral uh, is our goal is to find this. Oh, sorry, zero to infinity. Okay, so let's see. So let's define f of z to be uh, log uh, long z plus i divided by z squared plus one. Right, so now uh, you have a branch cut, right? Branch cut at the uh, minus i. So let's pick up. So you have minus i, and you need to pick up, pick up branch cut, right? So I, I mean, I pick up branch cut like this, right? But our counter will pick up like this. Okay, so it's very good that I didn't touch the branch cut. So actually, I don't care. And then there is a pole here, i, right? So the theorem tells me that if I along the arc and this one, Let's call it C1 and C2. So C1 plus C2. F dz will be the 2 pi i residue i, right? We take the residue since this is the only pole uh, in the contour. Okay, so the residue is very simple, right? Simple pole. So just uh, z minus uh, z plus i and the long z plus i and the pick up z equals i. So it's long 2i, 2i. Okay, so remember that uh, we already pick up branch cut, right? So this is long two plus long i, which is pi divided by two i. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's take the C two. Let's compute the uh, into so C two, right? C two is a uh, let's say this is r minus r, minus r in r, and then we take r to be infinity. So C two f of z dz will be just a. Uh, will be just minus r to r, right? But the difficult part is that, uh, but the difficult part is that uh, we need to, uh, things long uh, in a real space, right? Do not define at a negative value. So we need to pick up, we need to uh, do the, let's see. So let's write um, this one, right? And the uh, minus r to zero and uh, zero to r, long s plus i, x squared plus dx, okay? Hmm. Okay. So let's do the uh, change the variable, change it to zero. Let's pick out change x to minus x, right? So there's a minus here, and the log uh, minus x plus i, and x squared still invariant dx plus zero to r, long x plus i, x squared plus one dx. Okay. So now uh, we can uh, try to combine them, right? We we hope to combine it. So. Uh, now here's a little bit of problem. Right? Let's see. So our long uh, minus x plus i is the uh, same as long minus one plus long uh, x minus i, right? So this is a uh, famous i pi, right? So we can combine these two. So combine these and combine these, right? So we 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 get this term. So our results become uh, let's see. So yeah, so this part becomes zero r i pi x squared plus one dx minus zero r long x minus i x squared plus one dx plus zero r this term long uh, x plus i dx x squared plus one. Okay, so now uh, we can combine these two. Uh, we can flip these two zero and r and then combine these two. So these two give us zero and r long x squared. So x plus i plus times x minus i become this, right? So this is uh, what we need. Plus this term, minus 0 r i pi x squared plus 1 dx. Okay, and uh, let's take the r goes to infinity. So we get the c1 contribution will be this.
Okay, and our result is at C2 will be 2 pi i residue of i. Okay, but but notice that that's the this. So finally, we just need to uh oh sorry, uh sorry. So yes, this should be C2 right because I define a C2 to be a straight line, and the C1 should be the arc right. C1 is arc. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's estimate. So C1 uh z is uh r is more i say that right so your our original f of z is defined to be long uh, z plus i z squared plus i so when z grows to infinity that uh, the denominator the de de denominator term is r squared term and the numerator term is long r term and there is a dz so r right so you can it's easy to see that when r goes to infinity this term is long r divided by r which it goes to zero so the arc term do not have any contribution so we don't care this so finally, this term is minus i, uh, sorry, go to plus i zero to infinity pi divided by x squared plus one dx. So this, let's see, so zero to infinity one over x squared plus one dx is a uh, pi over two, right? So this is a, a arctangent, right? So you can use a complex analysis. So this term is a pi over two. Uh, plus uh, our original answer, our original uh, results that we hope to get is 0 to infinity long x squared plus 1 x squared plus 1 dx equals to 2 pi i pi divided by 2i plus long 2 divided by 2i right so this is our uh, our, our our residue okay so you see now uh, let's write down so we get uh, i pi squared divided by 2 plus 0 to infinity log x squared plus 1 dx divided by x squared plus 1 equals to, let's see, pi minus pi squared. Uh, just write everything down. So it's a final, I think it's, there's i here, right? So it's pi squared divided by 2i plus pi long 2. So these two turn cancel. So we get 0 to infinity log x squared plus 1 dx, x squared plus 1 pi log so this is a very difficult one, I think. Uh, if you have not done that, then it's very difficult if you uh, you can find the correct answer. And the calculation is a little bit lengthy, and I uh, hope you guys can follow my calculation. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I write everything uh, too quickly. But I think it's very easy. You just write down everything, and uh, I, I mean, the step is easy, right? So see you guys next video. Hope you guys subscribe.